It was celebration time at High Five. The company completed 50 years in business in 2010. For many, High Five represented the house of innovation. For 50 years, High Five's formula for growth, recruit the right people, provide them with the right environment to work, and let them do their thing, resulted in around 2,500 products and thousands of patents for the company. But over the past few years, the company has started to stagnate. Analysts attributed High Five's success to date to its commitment to innovation. They pointed out that High Five gave its employees the freedom to conduct research in areas of their choice, even if that research was not related to their official projects. By nurturing the talents of its employees and fostering a climate of innovation, High Five became one of the most innovative companies in the world. In 2010, Grant Green took over as CEO of High Five and announced several initiatives to revive the stagnating growth rate of the company. He initiated cost-cutting measures, rationalized pur purchases, and implemented process improvement programs in the company. He gave a centralized direction to the company from its earlier laissez-faire working style. Analysts cautioned that the changes brought on by Green might harm the 50-year-old culture of at High Five that fostered innovation and sustained growth over the years. However, Green pointed out that the changes brought in High Five would, would provide the company a strategic direction in a volatile business environment without harming its organizational culture. It was, however, not all out with the old and in with the new. Green wanted to revive the practice of encouraging employees to take the initiative and come up with new ideas. High Five started recruiting people who were creative and had a broad range of interests. According to Grant, people who had a broad range of interests were willing to learn and explore new ideas. In addition, they brought a multidisciplinary approach to their work. To make it easy for recruiters, High Five codified the six traits of innovative people in its recruiting brochure. Creativity, broad interests, self-motivated, resourceful, hardworking, problem solvers. High Five had historically been organized into various product divisions. As these divisions increased in size, Green noticed that there were, was a slowdown in innovation. Not much time was devoted to new product development. To increase the pace of new product launches, Green introduced the philosophy of divide and grow. In line with this philosophy, new businesses were spun off and new management teams were devoted to the spun off units. As a result, these new units were able to grow quickly. When these new businesses were spun off, the established divisions had developed new products to find new markets to achieve their growth objectives to make up for contributions from the businesses that had become independent. This mechanism, which analysts called renewal, resulted in increased diversification at high five. The stock markets have responded positively to the appointment of Green, and High Five stock price has risen to its highest in a decade. But is this positive movement sustainable?